All right, guys, I'm going to quickly show you how to activate your iMessage and FaceTime on the Win Mobile Network and also Mobilicity. Now, the steps will be the same for both networks because they're not the official carriers of the Apple iPhone. So we have to use this workaround um, that is put together here thanks to Steve. So I do want to give all the credit for this work to Steve. Uh, He's the website's owner for theonlinemac.com. So to get started, what you want to do is you want to head over to theonlinemac.com slash forward slash that is wind help. So to get started, what you need to do is follow these steps. So you dial star five zero zero five star two seven four and the hashtag or the pound number sign whatever you want to call it and then you will press you'll see dismissed so what the next step you want to do is you want to turn off the iPhone and turn it back on and now uh, I just want to let you guys know that my iMessage is already activated I've already used this method so I'm not going to go through the entire activation I'm just going to show you how to do this so now that you have turned off your iPhone turned it back on we will move over to the next step, right? So it's that's toggle iMessage. So what you want to do is you want to turn off iMessage and turn it back on. It will show you waiting for activation. So what I recommend is wait two to five minutes before you move to the next step. So this way that we, we can make sure that the activation SMS has been sent to Apple so you're ready for activation. Now, once you have waited your two to five minutes, what you want to do is you want to dial star five zero zero five star seven eight two eight three, and you want to press the number sign, pound, hashtag, whatever you want to call it, and it's going to give you this screen right here. Just click reply, and then just name it I message. Click reply on top right. Now what you want to do is you want to connect your iPhone to um, iTunes. And once you're on the iTunes summary page, you will see that there's a little button uh, that says sync on it. So you want to hit sync and you'll see, you might not see copying diagnostic information, but as long as the sync has completed, now what you want to do is you want to head over to um, you want to just what I recommend is just simply copying from here till right here just do copy and paste from there put it into the go to folder on your Mac and on Windows what you'll simply do is go to my computer and then users your username app data roaming Apple computer logs crash reports backward slash mobile device backward slash your device name the baseband and now what we're looking for here is so once I do this as you see this is the page that opens up right so then you see a whole bunch of these files and then you can see this one that says baseband so now because I already did my iMessage activation earlier this is my log from earlier this is the one that you want to select and then what you want to do is you want to use the find function it's control F and command F is the functions you want to use control F is in Windows and command F is in Mac just type in hex str is gonna find you this hex str and this is what you need so you're gonna copy it from here to here and you go ahead back over to the online Mac.com and then just click on activation so once again, this is what you're looking for right here, as Steve has highlighted right here for you guys. And then you want to click on activation. You want to type, copy and paste this hex string right into here, and then just click submit. Now once you do this, iMessage will activate. However, it may take a few minutes. So don't panic. Don't keep turning the on the iMessage on and off. Instead, just wait it out. Now I do recommend that you turn off both 
um, iMessage and FaceTime before you begin and also only turn on iMessage first because once the activation has completed FaceTime will use the same um, I believe hex string and the confirmation from Apple's end to activate so you don't have to do the process again for FaceTime you just got to do it one time and one time only so once you have your iMessage activated you can go ahead and just go back and activate your um, FaceTime. So as you can see right here, my FaceTime is already activated and my iMessage is activated. So once my iMessage was activated, I just went ahead and turned on FaceTime and within a second my FaceTime was activated as well. So that is all you need to do. Just follow these simple steps. Read everything that Steve has written. And just take your time. Don't rush through it. And once you're done, what you can do is you could disable logging because it might just take up space later on. So what you want to do is instead of the star, you can just hit hashtag pound number sign, whatever you want to call it, 5005 star 274 pound hashtag number sign again depending on what you call it and just hit send and then just hit dismiss now uh, it will basically stop logging and you want to disable the logging once you have activated your iMessage successfully now the iMessage and FaceTime will remain activated for as long as you do not change the sim card for as long as you don't change your, uh, change your smartphone so if you're going from one iPhone to the next, you will need to repeat the process. Or if you take out your Win SIM card and you're on vacation somewhere and you decide to use a local SIM card and now you want to put your Win SIM card in it, you will have to do the app, uh, the activation one more time. Now, if any of you are wondering why it says T-Mobile in the for my carrier, uh, this is a Win SIM card. I'm roaming in the U.S. right now on T-Mobile, so that is why it says T-Mobile. I think that's about it. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or have any um, issues doing the process, um, one of the best recommendations I can give is simply repeat the process again. Um, I've had to do it about three, four times, but then there's people that have only had to do it once. So if it doesn't work for you for the first time, just disable logging as I've showed you, showed you in the video and then restart the process and each time you want to restart the process make sure that you turn off your iPhone turn off iMessage and start fresh and as long as you follow all the steps you will have no issues with activating uh, iMessage and FaceTime so that's it um, again if you have any questions comments let me know please rate comment and subscribe and if you guys find this helpful Please donate to Steve for his hard work and keeping this service active for all of us. Uh, I'm sure he will really appreciate that. Thank you. We'll see you next time.